Namaste. When you get a flu or when you get a cold, in Ayurveda, it's a sign that your digestive system is uh, almost losing the battle, the metabolic battle. In Ayurveda, every day our metabolism should be rebuilt and should rebuild our system. We intake food and if we properly digest this food, if we properly assimilate this food, if we proper uh, excrete the metabolic waste of this food, then these are going to be transformed in our bodily tissues in energy for our daily lives. Okay? We can call this datus and prana in the Ayurvedic terminology. But along the time, if your digestive process, if you're not paying due attention to it, it's going to be um, building toxins, metabolic toxins, ama, in this day-to-day -day routine. Because you are hurried to go to the job, because you are uh, with a lot of things to study for the exams, because you have to take the talk to all, because a lot of things in the West, usually the food process, the food ritual, is just like the last thing important in your life, because there are a lot of TV shows that are missing. <laughs> and you also need to be worried about the and the bills and all these things and oh I eat anything for me this doesn't matter I have more important things to worry about in my life in Ayurveda if you don't give importance to what you eat and you digest probably you're going to be a sick person but before you have a very um, powerful and dangerous disease your body is going to sign to you hello Things are not going well here, please help. <laughs> and when we stop and we listen to these first signs of the body, then things usually get easy to the track fast. Because in Ayurveda, if you are conscious of your digestive process every day, Probably you are going to give a lot of importance to the uh, state that uh, your uh, vitality, that your energy is flowing. If you are very energetic almost all the days and suddenly this energy level drops, you are going to say, wow, there is something wrong here. What should I do? But if you are used to be in the bottom level for like years, then just a little bit difference here and there is not going to be so much perceptible. I usually talk to people like this. If you have a wedding dress and it's all white and it's just ready to go to the church, if a person puts a little spot of tomato sauce or ketchup there, man, this is going to be just like the end of the day. <laughs> but if you are just like with a, a shirt that is all over with tomato sauce, the same one drop of ketchup is not going to matter so much, right? So in Ayurveda, we are used to be just like every day, every day being aware of our metabolic health. And when we just like sneeze or we have any kind of uh, difference in our um, average metabolism, we say, oh, something important is going on here. Let me pay some attention to it. But if you're just like always with allergies, always with some sneezing, always with sinusitis, always with this, with that, with back pain, if there is a little bit increase or decrease on these signs, you say, oh, this is just like common to me. So in Ayurveda, we always should eat when we are hungry and we always should respect our hunger and our appetite and our digestion. And if we do this every day, we feel energetic, we feel light, we feel 
uh, with capacity to work, to study, to live, to laugh, to uh, play, and all these things that like usually a child do. At least not the video game child. <laughs> These ones usually are very sick also. Um, and when you feel that you're going to get a cold or you're going to take, get a flu, the first, the very, very first thing in Ayurveda is stop eating the way that you are used to eat. Because in Ayurveda, you are not going to be feeling hungry. <laughs> Since there are a lot of uh, metabolic waste there accumulated in your body, ama, you are going to need some digestive power to digest these things that are not uh, completely digested in your system, but they are still floating in your digestive system. So the very first medicine of Ayurveda is a small fasting. It, it's not should be just like 10 days without eating, just uh, having some light, and nothing like that. But the point is that some ginger tea, it can be other teas also, but uh, let's just stick to ginger here because ginger is very, very powerful to digest ama. It has this ama pachana property. It digests pachana ama. And if you go along taking some uh, ginger tea during the day, you're going to start to feel that your energy is coming back again. And you might say, oh, how this is happening? I'm not taking food. How my body is uh, taking energy? Because our body produces energy if the fireplace is working. If the fireplace is not working, it doesn't uh, make any difference for you to put more wood there to burn if the fire is knocked out, right? So when we are uh, like in a initially cold, getting cold or with a flu, our digestive uh, fire is being knocked out and we need to restore it by slowly adding some digestive capacity to it, some heat on it. Like if you go in the fireplace and the fire is almost completely over, if you take a very easy to burn uh, kind of wood and you put there, it's going to start to revive slowly. And this process is the same if we take the ginger tea. You can take this like for one hour, three hours, ten hours, one whole day. As long as you're still feeling that your hunger is slowly coming back. And after some time, when you start to feel a little bit of hungry, you're going to take a very, very easy to digest thing that is going to be mainly one soup with spices, like ginger, uh, black pepper, coriander, depends. It can be a lot of things. Uh, the very first thing that usually it's prescribed in Ayurveda in these situations is the water with spices of uh, like rice that uh, you cooked but you're going to take only the water. It's not going to be the soup with the rice. It can be uh, with the rice if your digestive power is again uh, as strong as capable to handle with this. But in Ayurveda, the um, two important things about uh, not being all the time uh, with uh, like the sensation that you're going to get sick is stop eating. Take some things that are going to restore the metabolic process inside you and rest. Because uh, it takes time to our body to reconstruct the digestive flow. If you're just like 
very tired and working and taking ginger tea, this probably is not going to be sufficient to uh, make you healthy again. When you're getting sick, you need to restore your agony with spices and rest time. Our body usually reconstructs itself during sleep when it's uh, not functioning. A lot of metabolic procedures that are, take place when we are awake. So, just like go the most easy that you can in your job or with your child, this, all these obligations that we could, could not uh, spare. But the other one that we could just like say, tomorrow we are coming back to it, it's better not to do. You're going to see that very quickly your digestive system is going to restore and you're going to take easy to digest food and this is going to be uh, very wholesome for your health, okay? This can be a little different of taking vitamins, uh, taking like C, C vitamin and all this stuff and uh, a lot of medicines. We can take some here and there, but the main medicine in Ayurveda is ginger in this topic that we are speaking, okay? Once again, if you like this video, if you want to share it, if you want to comment, if you want to just like hit the like button, um, or if you want to send an email to uh, make a consultation and they send you the information, just write to namaste.tiago.gmail.com that I will be pleased to inform you for more details, right? See you in the next video. Namaste. Thank you.